Anaconda is a widely used platform by the data scientists and the machine learning communities because it provides a very simplified ecosystem for data analysis, for scientific computing and machine learning tasks. Let's see how we can simply install Anaconda by following the simple steps. So let's start. I am going to type Anaconda on my web browser and this is the official site from Anaconda. I am going to open this specific page. On this page, on the right hand side, you have something called free download. Click on this free download. Now here it clearly tells you free download everything you need to get started in data science on your workstation. Free distribution install, thousands of the most fundamental data science AI and ML packages are available. Manage packages environments from desktop application, deploy across hardware and software platforms. Moreover, you are also going to get the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so all of these are packaged in one thing. So I'm going to hit on download here. Now you can see the download has started. Now you can see the download has been completed, which is around 899 MB. Let me click on this. After certain time, this is the window which you are going to see. Welcome to Anaconda 3 2023 7 64-bit setup. I'm going to hit on next. Now there is a license agreement. Let's click on I agree. Now here there are two different options that you get. One is just me. All users requires admin privilege. So here I just would like to install on my user on my system, not for all the users there on my system. So I will select just me and click on next. Here it asks for the destination folder. I will leave it as it is the default folder that it has selected. So I am going to leave it as it is. And the pretty much important point here is is going to take a space of 4.9 GB and the space available is 34 GB. So that should be fine. So I'm going to go with this and hit on next. Now on this window by default create start menu shortcut uh, supported packages only so here there is a shortcut if you like to keep it on now there is another important option here called add anaconda to my path environment variable now read to the note not recommended this can lead to conflicts with other applications instead use the command prompt and powershell menus added to the windows start menu okay so only when you have not installed python and you would like to go for this then go with this option if you have already installed python and there are other ids which are using uh, right you have a pip module to install packages so there will be more conflicts may occur so leave it as it is okay so register anaconda 3 uh, my default python 311 that you can do i can register so anytime there is a python applic you know you, if you like to open in anaconda that can happen if it's not required you can just leave it as it is so i'll just go with the default option i'll not select anything over here i'm going to hit on install you can click on show details just to see what is happening it took almost more than 30 minutes for me to come to this stage where it says completed i'm going to hit on next and finally everything you love about anaconda now available so everything looks fine let me so you can see there is a jupyter notebook is also available now let me hit on next and hit on finish now once the installation is complete i'm going to click here and type anaconda so you can see there are multiple things which are available one is your anaconda prompt more like a command prompt and then the other one is anaconda navigator all you have to do simply click on the anaconda navigator now you can see the anaconda is trying to initialize you can see this is how the anaconda navigator has launched and it is currently prompting me to enter the email address and the password for the moment i am going to skip this and close it just to show you what are the different things that are available within the anaconda navigator there are a lot of things you can simply launch and start using it we have anaconda notebook a command from jupyter lab cmd.io 
and then you have spider you have uh, data lower there are a lot of things okay now one thing uh, you know you may be interested is the jupyter notebook you can see that so jupyter notebook and all you have to do here is simply click on launch now you can see the jupyter notebook has opened it will open in your default browser local host this is what you would see now once this is done you would see the entire set of uh, different folders and all of that so i am going to create my project in a very specific folder inside uh, let's say the documents or maybe the pycharm project wherever you like to create right so you can select your option or for example let's start with the desktop all right so once you are here it tells you what are the different files there on the desktop but again here we would like to create a new python project so you can see python 3 comes up so i'm going to hit on python 3 now the best thing about the jupyter notebook is you can immediately you know see what you are really uh, writing the code immediately you can see the output for example let me type this and all you have to do is shift and hit on enter okay shift and enter now you can see the output has come let me insert few other code and run this shift and enter and you can see while you are writing code uh, generally in other IDs you have seen you are writing the entire code and you are seeing the output at the end but here it allows you to see things while you are you know time to time whenever you need you can just see the values and continue your coding so that is one of the benefit and widely used by the data scientist widely used by the machine learning communities around the world so we are going to use this Jupyter notebook quite a lot in the upcoming videos so stay tuned and you will learn a lot of things using Jupyter notebook thank you guys mm -hmm.